Hello and welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deploy Windows Security Baseline Group Policies to your domain controllers. This is my test environment and I've got a domain controller with Windows Server 2022. First of all, we need to download the policies. So open your web browser and go to this URL. I'll put this URL in the YouTube description box below so you guys, guys can get it from there. In here, you will see a bunch of policies for different operating systems. Now, when you do this in your production environment, make sure you download the appropriate policy to match your operating system. Now, I have a Windows Server 2022 um, environment so I'm going to download Windows Server 2022 Security Baseline. One thing to note is Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2019 is alongside Windows 10 policies as well. It took a while for me to figure out where the Windows Server 2016 and 2019 Security Baselines were because they were together listed with Windows 10. So just be mindful. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to find these, but I'm glad that I did in the end. So I hope you guys don't have to spend a lot of time looking for those policies. So just read these carefully um, and download the appropriate um, files that matches your operating system. So click on the download icon and from this um, menu, select the appropriate files that matches your operating system. In this case, I'm going to select Windows Server 2022. Scroll down, click download, and this should download a zip file to my downloads folder. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder now. Right click on the folder and extract all the files. Now I've already done this. This is the extracted folder. So I'm going to double click on it once more. And in here, you will see several folders. In documentation, you will see some useful documentation from Microsoft. The most important one is GP reports if you want to know what settings are applied by these policies. It'll give you a graphical interpretation of all the settings that are being used. This is the policy that we are going to deploy in this tutorial, MSFT, Windows Server 2022 Domain Controller. So this policy is specifically designed to secure your domain controllers. So this is the policy that we're going to deploy in this tutorial. But there are other uh, policies as well that you may find useful uh, in deploying in your production environment. For example, if you've got member servers, um, you can um, alongside the domain controller policy, you can also deploy the MSFT Windows Server 2022 member server policy as well. So these two policies are the most famous and commonly used policies, but if the other policies are also applicable to your environment, feel free to um, test these policies and apply them. So because this is a test environment, I'm going to go ahead and straight away deploy these policies. But if you're doing this on a production environment, I highly recommend if you have the opportunity to test it with uh, a subset of servers, test them first, make sure nothing breaks and then deploy to the rest of the servers. All right. So let me just show you um, what it looks like. So when you double click on one of those policies, uh, GPO reports, it'll um, tell you what settings it's going to control. Um, so this will uh, give you um, a view of what settings it's going to enable or disable. Okay, so I'm just going to get out of that. Let's go back. Um, and in here, you will see the actual GPOs. Obviously, they, they're not human friendly. Um, that's why I suggested that you go to GP reports. It'll um, give you a graphical interpretation of those GPOs. And in here, you have got scripts. You can use the scripts to install um, these policies locally as well. 
Um, so I'll put some Microsoft documentation where um, they explain the process to do that. We're not going to do that in this tutorial. We're going to use group policy uh, GPOs to deploy these policies. So let me just go back. And in here, you will find the uh, ADMX uh, and ADML files um, that we need to copy to our central store. So the first task, after you have um, extracted the downloaded security baseline folder, is to copy these ADMX files to your central store in your Active Directory environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these ADMX files, copy, and I am going to go to the policy definitions folder in the central store. So go to C drive, Windows, system volume, click system volume again, and this is my domain, so I'm going to see my domain, but when you do this, you're going to see your domain folder in here. So my test domain is techtest.local. So double click on the domain folder, go to policies and click on policy definitions and paste those ADMX files. And let's go back. Now we have to get the ADML files. So go back to templates and I can see um, there are three ADML files. So we're going to copy the entire folder in this case and go back to our central store once again. And paste it here. Now, if you already have a language or ADML folder in your central store. You don't have to copy the folder. You can just copy the ADML files and come in here and paste them in within the language folder. This is a brand new domain controller environment. That's why I copied the entire folder. Now in production, it is more than likely that you've already got a policy definitions folder, central store uh, with um, existing ADMX um, and ADML files. So before you do anything, I highly recommend that you take a copy of the existing policy definitions folder and paste it somewhere as a backup in case you need to refer to that in the future. So now that we have copied ADMX files and ADML files to our central store in our Active Directory environment, I'll show you how to create the group policies. To do that, go to Group Policy Management, okay, expand your domain, expand the domain, and expand Group Policy Objects. So we're just going to create a group policy first, and then we're going to link it at the domain level. So first of all, let's create a blank group policy object. So make sure you give this an appropriate user-friendly name. So I'm going to call it Windows Server 2022 Security Baseline for domain controllers. Click OK. So the new group policy object has been created. Now we need to right click on it and click import settings. Click next. You can skip this part. There's nothing to back up. It's a brand new group policy object. So don't worry about this step. Click next. And in here, you're going to look for the downloads folder where the security baselines were downloaded to. Scroll down, 
select GPOs and select OK. And we go next. In here, it will show you all the GPOs or group policy objects that are available within that folder. I'm going to expand this so we can see it clearly. The policy that we're interested in is this policy right here, MSFT, Windows Server 2022 Domain Controller. Click Next. Click Next. Keep the default setting. Click Next. Click Finish. So this will import all the settings from our security baselines policies. Click OK. Now, once you have done the import, as you can see here, the user configuration settings are disabled. What you can do is double click on the policy, go to details and enable the GPO, click OK. And if you have multiple server environments and you want to link this group policy object at the domain level, you can even use WMI filtering to filter the servers with respective operating systems. For example, you can have a filter for Windows Server 2016. You can have another filter for Windows Server 2019. You can have another filter for Windows Server 2022 if you've got a server environment with multiple operating systems. But uh, in this case, I only have one domain controller and it's only running Windows Server 2022. So I'm not going to use the WMI filtering, but that option is certainly there for you to be used in your production environment. So now the policy, um, the GPO status has been enabled. And what you can do now is link this. So what I would like to do this, what, what I'd like to do here is go to my domain controllers or you, right click on it, and I'm going to link an existing GPO because this policy is specifically applied to all domain controllers that are running Windows Server 2022 in my case. So I'm going to click link existing GPO. I'm going to select the group policy object that we just created, click OK. And as you can see, it's link enabled, the GPO status is enabled, and your job is done. And the policy will be applied to your domain controller. The settings will make sure that your domain controller is running as secure as possible based on Microsoft recommended settings. My recommendation, once again, is to do this in a controlled environment and make sure that these policies don't break any of the existing integrations or settings that you may have, because some of these settings can be very restrictive. So do test, take backups, if necessary, um, and um, test this out. I'm sure it will help securing your environment. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you learned something new. If you did, click like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot creating this content for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day.